four, get my shoes and out the door. Five, I'm alive. Six, seven, eight, feeling great. Nine, gonna shine, life is good. I'm doing fine, ten, gonna do it right and do it again, yeah. I look into the sky with all the beautiful color, but there's more than just for me, so gonna share it with another. I got to show, to give, let out, I want to sing and shout. Take a look and see a beautiful morning that turns into a beautiful evening, and together make a beautiful life. And if you wanna see, then come along with me. That's right. Hey, I'm Irish Dave, and welcome to Experience Michiana. This week, we have a very unique show with some unique ideas for things that you can do. I'm here in downtown Elkhart, and there's an event happening here on August 3rd that I think you'll want to know about. We're also going to talk about energy healing this week on the show. That's a unique experience. But right now, let's go to Courtney. She's in downtown South Bend, and she is going on an architectural tour. Now, many of us have had the chance to explore downtown South Bend, but maybe not necessarily from an architectural standpoint. I'm really excited that the architectural walking tours are here throughout the summer and I have with us today our tour guide Steve as well as Kylie with Downtown South Bend to share a little bit more about what an architectural walking tour is. Thanks for being here with us. Oh it's, it's our pleasure yes. Kylie <laughs> tell us kind of the importance of what it is to have those architectural walking tours here in the area you know bringing back and letting people know about the history behind South Bend. Yeah, I mean, it's great to visit downtown, but it adds another level uh, if you know the history that this town was built on. And Steve does a really great job of making it fun, because uh. we all think of history <laughs> class and all the dates, but he takes you on a 90-minute tour, points out not only some of the architectural styles of the buildings, but some of the histories of the buildings. Uh, so, you know, you might go to dinner at LaSalle Grill all the time, uh -huh. but now when you go back, you'll know the history of the building, and it just makes it mean so much more to know where we came from, to know, like, then where we, where we are now and where we're going. It's, it's just, it's, it's great. It's wonderful. And when do these happen? They happen the first Fridays of May through October, and Four of those six months, we are downtown on the 90-minute tour, okay. but then two of them, we take a tour of the West Washington Historic District, and that's a really special treat, too. Okay, now, Steve, you've been doing this for a while, and the architectural walking tours have been happening since 2010, so a while. And there's always something new, I feel like, to explore in downtown South Bend. Oh, uh, there are. And I mean, definitely with the, the, the new changes and new buildings coming up, a lot of times people will ask you, what was there? Okay. You know, and that's the big question is, what was at that site, you know, before this new building uh, just got there? And it, it's kind of fun to go through the history of that, especially, I mean, even the way the streets are laid out, everything all happened because of what was here before. And we were talking, you know, when I came to this intersection, which I've been in the area for 17 years, this was the first time I noticed the historical <laughs> <laughs> Maybe because I knew what we were going to be doing today. But tell us about this particular historical marker and why it's so important. Absolutely. Well, that marker back there, the Lincoln and Dixie Highways, this is actually the intersection of uh, the first two national roads. Um, you know, one being the Lincoln Highway, which went from the East Coast to the West Coast, the other being uh, the Dixie Highway or Michigan Road, which went from Michigan all the way to Florida. This was the intersection. Right here. Right here. Right here. There we're standing the on it. <laughs> a couple others added later, but this this was the first one. And most people don't even realize that that happened here. That's amazing. So. Amazing. Now, Kylie, you've been on the tours before. Yes. What's your favorite fun fact that you've learned from Steve? Well, you can see our hair's blowing in the wind here. <laughs> I learned, yes, yeah, especially yeah. Steve. <laughs> I learned that Washington Street here is the windiest street in the city because I can't remember, it's all like, you'll remember fuzzy details. It's, like, you know, it's, it's, it's uninterrupted, right? Is that it, it is uninterrupted, but also the span of the street as you go farther west and you go all the way to, you know, take Washington all the way until we're at dead ends, you almost have Bendix. Um, notice how wide the street is. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's got a full, you know, 120, 140 feet wide width. And then as you come downtown, everything comes closer and closer together. together. Just like water in a pipe, the smaller the pipe, the greater the pressure. Same thing when it comes down here. Here we're very narrow, so all that wind, direct shot, comes in and speeds up by the time it reaches here. So this is not the place to be when a tornado comes through. Right. <laughs> yes, 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 you never, never flow uh, <laughs> drones down here either. It's too windy. Yeah, and and then it's funny, you also pointed out our tallest building in downtown, <laughs> right on Washington Street. It's also Street. on Washington <laughs> <laughs> like, Which okay. also can make 
may have been a question of whether or not that was the right move for the tallest building to catch the full breadth you know, of, of, of that wind coming from the west. But yeah, 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 so you definitely need your walking shoes because the architectural tour is about an hour and a half and I yes, know you love is. to share all the great things about mm -hmm. it. So plan to be walking for a while. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, but what are some of the places that you get to explore? Because there's over like 20 buildings that you share during oh, yeah, the tour. It's, you know, it's not just uh, particular sites or stops along the way. It's going to be whole blocks. We're going to talk okay. about the whole block and then we'll point out certain um, architectural features and certain uh, unique buildings because we certainly have our one of the kind buildings here, the one yeah. single existent buildings uh, with designs like no others that we have here downtown. So I mean, we're going to be going everywhere from talking about the Morris uh, Plumbing Arts Center, uh -huh. we're talking about LaSalle Grill, of course, we're talking about Farmer State Bank, the Tower Building, there's just so many you know, different ones. And we do like to talk a little bit about the uh, the materials, and everything that went into them, because you can tell the sure. difference between something that's built before and something that's built now yeah. because of the materials that were used. And you have it's such important. great experience on that. I love hearing these stories. <laughs> and I'm sure everyone does too, too who participates in these. And how many people do you usually have come on the tours? Um, usually about 25 to 30 yeah. when we fill up. Yeah. So. Sometimes we've had as much as 50. We've had as many yeah. as 50. Okay. So it's yeah, and it's really fun because, you, like you said, you didn't notice that sign. You're driving downtown, you're busy, you're going from point A to point B. This gives you a chance to really slow down and take notice of the details. And then you'll always remember that later. And then mm -hmm. you can be really cool and when you're with your friends walking around, be like, did you guys notice over there? I think that. <laughs> <laughs> you know? be the fun fact person. Yes. Like, did you know? <laughs> lot of those um, little phantom clues. Okay. You know, there, there's design aspects to LaSalle Grill, uh, for example, between that and the Griffin, and, and why there are things yeah. there that you wouldn't know if you didn't know what those buildings were used for. I don't want to ruin any surprises. Oh, so but you there's, have there's two, or three the great, two or three great little you know, things about tidbits about that building and the design that's still there that leads back to what it was originally used for. And I think we're going to check out some more of those, but Kylie, how can people sign up for this? Because you do want them to pre-register for it. Yes, uh, and it's, you can sign up on our, on our website, downtownsouthbend.com, or you can call our office and we, uh, it's, you'll pay when you get here. It's only $5 to get all of Steve's knowledge. Steve, it's amazing. Look at that. <laughs> feel <And> cheap. <laughs> now when you have 30 people, you know, bring your friends out. Well, thanks yeah. so much, Kylie. I think we're gonna go check out some of your favorite places. Yes, we are. All right, let's go, let's head on out. All right, Steve, so we're working our way west on this mm -hmm. architectural walking tour, and now we've landed in front of one of the biggest monuments in downtown South Bend. Tell us a bit more about that and why it's so important. Well, this particular monument is actually the Soldiers and Sailors Monument, uh, commemorating our, our soldiers from St. Joseph County uh, okay. that were lost in the Civil War. Um, kind of a unique thing. I mean, first of all, the the statue itself, the monument itself, is actually designed and built by the same folks uh, that did the the statuary in downtown Indianapolis, the oh, Circle Center. Okay, yeah, um, I've same, been to that one before too. Exactly, same manufacturer, same artist. Um, but it's also important because this was moved. Uh, the original location of this was uh, around the front side here, over on Main, where the entrance to the the jail and courthouse is now. The unique thing about this is, is, is you got when you look at it, you'll notice that there, there's a slight flaw in it, uh, in particular when it was uh, okay, originally Okay, let me see. Let me see if I can guess what, what the flaw is. Yep. Okay, I don't know. You have to tell me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, you, you, notice, you notice the direction in which the, uh, the soldier is pointing. He's actually so kind of pointing out like in the northeast, uh -huh. exactly. That's obviously not the direction they would be marching for during the Civil War. <laughs> um, it actually, uh, it was spun when it was moved, and it's kind of one of those people question every time, it's like, was that done on purpose? Was not? Mm -hmm. We do not believe that that was done on purpose. We believe that that was actually a, a mistake, because that's <laughs> not the way that everyone would have been marching at that time. Okay. We would have definitely Good been onward <laughs> south to fight the war, yeah. definitely not heading to Michigan, so. Uh <laughs> okay, very good. And then for the walking tours, like you said, we still have one coming up in August, September, and October. Right. And there's two different kinds of walking tours. The ones downtown South Bend. Absolutely. So the first two, uh, which are going to be uh, August and September, are going to be the downtown arch architectural tour. It's going to be 90 minutes down here. We're going to start at the clock over at a uh, right of the corner of Washington and Michigan, and that'll be just down here, just in the the square, like three blocks or four blocks. Now, obviously, on these walking tours, it's noisy in downtown South. 
south end, but you do carry a microphone. I do have a people microphone. Can people can hear me. A little speaker on me, so people can hear me. And and I, I do love. Uh, we spend a lot of time interacting because uh, a lot of the folks that come on the tour have a personal tie. Okay. You know, I, I, I was fortunate enough. You know, this last tour when we were on West Washington, we had one of the folks that's a docent for Comp Show. So we were going by there. Mm. We I allowed him to add a, a few things that I didn't know nice. and a few things that his expertise. And we have a lot of folks that have local ties. So if someone has something to add, we'll go ahead and we'll let them go check it before I use it. But uh, sometimes we'll incorporate that later on in the tour as well. Because any of the new information we get, it's going to be valuable. And how is the tour downtown South Bend different from the one that goes to West Washington? Because that one's happening the last one in October, right? Absolutely. So okay. that one, we're going to start at People's Church, which is in Washington and uh, Lafayette. And we're going to head west, go all the way down to Compshire Home, uh, down to uh, South Martin Black, and make the turn and then come back on along the south side there. So in that one's going to be different because we're going to talk more about um, the houses in particular, when they were built, um, who lived there, oh, that's, that, that name. part is fascinating yeah, absolutely. to me. I love that Absolutely. A little bit more of the stuff. history of that street and how, how it was developed and, and that sort of thing. So. Awesome. Well, thank you so much today My for pleasure, showing us a little bit of the tour. I know there's plenty more fun facts for people absolutely. to learn. So you got to join the tour. You can get the tickets. They're just $5 cash, very, uh, very low cost, and it's something that you can enjoy. And like Kylie said, you know, it gives you the opportunity to be the one in the group when you're walking around. Let me tell you a little bit about this building. <laughs> Let me tell you who lives here. So great opportunity to learn more about what makes downtown South Bend, South Bend. Absolutely. Thank you. All right, we're here in the beautiful Stevenses of Elkhart, and I'm here with Danny Reynolds. Danny, what is going on on August 3rd? We're really excited, Dave. Thank you all for coming. Yeah. Thrilled to have you all here uh, at WNIT. We're, uh, we're so excited to uh, be preparing for the second annual Calendar Girls, beautiful Wellfield Gardens, right, Elkhart, up uh, North Main Street, Elkhart, on August 3rd. Yeah, and Wellfield is an absolutely beautiful location that we've highlighted several times here on Experience Michiana. So tell us a little bit specifically about Calendar Girls for anyone who doesn't know anything about it since it is its second year. Yeah, and uh, I'll let the experts in production tell a little bit more yeah. about the theory behind Calendar Girls, but it started last year with a performance of the play Calendar Girls. Mm -hmm. uh, and what happened this year? Well, as we all know, a lot happened this year, <laughs> but in this world we're in, we suddenly realized that there's a more meaningful version of Calendar Girls that can happen. The performance is going to be completely different and uh, an amazing Irma Bombeck performance. We're going to hear more about that from somebody who knows more than I do in a minute. Uh, but the idea here is that we are recognizing and celebrating some true calendar girls in the form of local heroes. So we've got 13 Michiana area ladies that have been recognized by loved ones, co-workers, you name it, for things that they've done to make a difference in their community over this past year. We're excited, we're gonna feature them in the calendar, and we've got a special surprise makeover for one of the guests that's nice. uh, going to be courtesy of Hello Gorgeous. So all I can say is it is going to be an action-packed, <laughs> fun-filled, entertaining event for people of all ages. Nice, and we're gonna learn more about how you can get tickets for the event, which happens on August 3rd. Annette, you're an actress that is gonna be in Calendar Girls. For anyone watching who's never heard of Calendar Girls, the actual show, what can they expect from this? Well, the show that we're doing this year is um, called At Wit's End, and it's a one-woman show mm -hmm. um, about Irma Bombeck. So nice. I am playing Irma Bombeck, who, um, of course, was a, um, a columnist and book writer and speech giver for many years, a humorist about being a mom, about nice. being a woman, um, and, and that's what she did. And she, what she did was to um, lift up and value the ordinary, the, mm -hmm. you know, the, the moms, the women that you see around you every day. And that's nice. what the show is about. Yeah. If so, I could jump in too, David, it, it's a perfect performance because what we are doing is recognizing mm -hmm. people that may on the surface look like some ordinary Michiana residents that behind the scenes mm -hmm. are doing amazing things. And one thing that I've recognized about all these ladies is that they don't really they're not comfortable being recognized. <laughs> they're the doers, not the yeah, not the right. attention takers. They're the doers. So I think it's a perfect tie-in. Yes. I always performance. think the greatest leaders and the greatest heroes never have to say that they're that. That's you know, exactly they just right. are. They just are that example. You know. And Dave, for you, uh, for the Civic Theater, how important is it for you to be involved with this night? 
Well, this started out as a, as a, a it, well, it still is a cooperative venture with Hello Gorgeous, mm -hmm. um, and uh, it was a great way to meld the arts, the performing arts, which is what Elkhart Civic Theater is mm -hmm. all about, with uh, the, the services and the support that Hello Gorgeous gives to women going through cancer. Mm -hmm. So uh, it, it was just a nice marriage, uh, you know, the tie-in last year with the play, but the but the uh, uh, the, the fact that we were able to kind of make this work with the calendar and with uh, a live performance mm -hmm. and uh, being in the in the well field, uh, of course, is kind of great exposure for both audi both yeah. organizations, and so we're 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 glad to be there as well. So it's a it's a really wonderful event. Hopefully it won't rain, but <laughs> we're under a tent, so it probably doesn't matter. You know, it's a beautiful mission, and it's a beautiful location, and it sounds like it's going to be a really great time. I know, Danny, you're the MC on the night as well. Yeah, don't tell them that. They won't come. Yeah, no, no they'll, they'll, they'll definitely come. You're hilarious. I've seen you do shows before for Stevenson's. Uh, if people want to get more information about this or get tickets and support it, how can they get involved? Well, I know um, Give Grove is the organization that we are using mm -hmm. for people to be able to donate, get tickets, that kind of thing. Thing. Uh, I think we're going to have characters, hopefully under me, above me, somewhere on the screen, <laughs> tell, letting people know. I think if you uh, just point to the spot, they can put it right there. Right there. Right. Right. Oh, just right there. Okay, yeah, there it yeah, is. Yeah. Okay. Um, Dave may know uh, website-wise uh, a better way for people to get more uh, information. Well, the, yeah, the website, whether it's, yeah, you can go to givegrove, givegrove.com forward slash CG21, or you can also call the Bristol Opera House, which is our theater at 848-4116, area code 574, and we can uh, uh, get, get you tickets that way. Online is very easy. Some people just prefer to do it by phone, and we're happy to help you with that as well. Now, this is a fundraiser. Where's the money going? So I'll the, jump in here. I think, as Dave kind of alluded to, this is a, um, a collaboration between two very worthy events. Mm -hmm. And the, the cool thing about this is one thing we're doing is bringing Elkhart and St. Joe County together in this. Uh, Hello Gorgeous has been primarily based in St. Joe County, obviously the Elkhart Civic Theater here in Elkhart County. And uh, what a great way to bring two amazing communities together. Uh, we're going to be raising funds for the theater and their mission uh, and helping showcase all the talent and the, and the amazing productions that this place does on an annual basis. Uh, and then also Hello Gorgeous. They do great things for yep. those going through cancer. Uh, they provide so many makeovers each year uh, for people nominated by mm -hmm. loved ones who are going through a tough time and need a little uh, boost to their esteem. Absolutely. Uh, and, and they do that uh, partnered with salons all over the world. So uh, all the funds raised that uh, at the event are going to be split evenly between those two organizations. Nice. I like it. Uh, my wife keeps telling me that I need to up my game when it comes to my style. And Danny, you're the most stylish guy that I know. Oh, exactly. So I think what we should do while we're here at Stevens is any chance you can give me a makeover? Oh, man. <laughs> you're like, Dave, I haven't had my coffee yet. I'm not. How long is this? <laughs> oh, that's it. I'm out of here. <laughs>Okay, so I tried this last week myself, and Courtney, I really want you to try it, okay? Yeah, well, because you know I've been having a lot of back issues yes. lately, and we've kind of talked about, like, how can I get this better? Yes, yeah, so I want you to get up on the bed. Okay. Do you need help? <laughs> it's a pretty high bed. I'm I not, know it's... I'm short. No, but... no, 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 okay. that's not, no. I... <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. See, this is my issue with the back, right? I've got to climb up here. Okay. Okay. Now, All which right. way do I go? Now, we have three pillows here, and okay. you have one job. You really have to ask yourself which way do you lie with all the pillows down this end, Courtney? Okay. Come well, on. Okay. <laughs> all right. Here we go. Uh, it's just a bed. You look like you'd be just well, a I look like I have a microphone pack in my back. Okay. okay. That's better. All right. Now, how are, how so, are these pillows? Do you normally sleep with three pillows? Um, I sleep with one. Okay. So we want you to be just as comfortable as you would be if you were going to go to sleep. Okay. okay. And take one pillow away. Okay. All right. Sure. You know, I have to admit, last week when I did this on my own, oh, it better. took me about 15 minutes before I really felt relaxed. So. Not that I should tell her, but I think you should concentrate on your breathing. Okay, so Colleen, I need you to explain to me what exactly <laughs> is Reiki. Energy. Energy. Reiki is a Japanese word. And it, it's really beautiful. It means like the higher spirit coming down and yeah, there's a lot of little things that it, but it, but it means just the spirit coming the down and um, the, the there's a little steam pot in the in the caricatures. Okay. And, you know, so it's like it's this integration of um, probably mind, body, and spirit. Mind, body, and spirit. So when people come here to you, what are they looking for? Stress relief. Okay. 
they want they want to relax uh, or they can't sleep or they're they're um, in pain and they're tense and uh, they're frustrated or they've been through trauma that's another one okay where they're traumatized and they're walking around like a deer in the headlights and they they don't know how to do it or they're getting a divorce or, or you know there mm. you know there's okay. issues there it, there's presenting traumatic issues that are interfering with their ability to enjoy their life so once you feel the energy over the person and you say, okay, I can feel like there's something going on here, what do you actually do then? Like as a Reiki master, what is your job after that? It's not just assessing, you actually then try and do something about it. So what are you doing then? Here's the thing. When, when we scan, I'm going to scan Courtney, is that right? Yes. Okay, all right. So we scan over and we find hot spots. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, Anyone can do this. This isn't, there's no, you know, crazy magic here. Anyone can do it. You just, who would ever think to do it, right? <laughs> you know? Well, maybe you want me to scan your other side? <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Yeah, no, no, you good. wanted to learn how to be a Reiki master, so. I, I think I would like to do it, yeah. So I can just, I can feel like a subtle, subtle buzz. Anything that I feel is something that you're working on. Uh-huh. I don't really believe there's bad energy or, um, stuck really because it's always moving energy is okay. always moving and by definition it's always moving so so if I feel it it means it's moving tightly mm -hmm. where it's our natural state to be at homeostasis it's like a chemistry equation so everything is nice and smooth and then sure. a disturbance is entered and everything goes chaotic uh-huh that's when they come here <laughs> and then <laughs> and then I help them bring Get come like back chaos down under control to their natural <laughs> state their, their natural rhythm and when you're in your natural rhythm your body functions fully Okay. If you're so not your in, job is to get the body's energy back to its natural that's, rhythm. That's right, right. Okay. Just to help it return to its own rhythm. So I don't really, you know, energy therapists don't really do anything. We can't take something away, but we can help you first identify what it is mm -hmm. going on, and sometimes that's half the battle because mm -hmm. you didn't know that it was. We store our childhood traumas in our in our thighs, and we didn't know. And they yep. might be. They might be traumas, or they might be just disturbances in your rhythm. It doesn't have to be a trauma. It doesn't have to be anything big. It could just be, you know, you learned a rule in your childhood that worked out great then. Uh -huh. But now that you're an adult yeah. and you're you're repeating this, you know, people say, like her is, humor. Hey. No, yeah. hey. <laughs> you know, you might learn humor as a survival skill, though, because it might have gotten you out of some tight this situations. This is probably very true for me. I always for I'm me. so excited. We're going to learn so much about was, Courtney. So. Uh, yeah, it was. All right. So I am feeling something here. And yeah. then here's the thing. And then what's on. funny is I can feel I can feel it, like, heating up as you're going mm -hmm. over those portions. Yeah, I can feel that too. on my arm when I did it, too. Yeah, yeah. Some, yeah. People, some people can really feel it. Yeah. And, and they can feel the warmth. But so I'm going to guess that you learned something in your childhood. And I say learn because it's on your right side, which means it's going to be your left brain experience. Okay. Which means your masculine energy, the, the linear energy, the, the um, putting yourself out there, that kind of a thing. So you might have, as a cute little girl, put yourself out there. And they said, oh, girls, don't do that. Ah, <laughs> you know? uh -huh. And so you smiled your way out of it, right? Uh -huh, yeah, uh -huh, yeah. Uh -huh. So uh -huh. then, you know, then we, <laughs> we repeat these patterns. And you know, worked out great when you were three. Courtney <laughs> smiling her way out of situations. I mean, hmm. I'm not saying I don't. <laughs> See, that's amazing. It just, it, 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 this is so ridiculously accurate. It blows me away every time I, I do oh. it. I still just. It just amazes me because people. It's just, it's just so, a so how does this different, or how does it differ from like modern medicine techniques? Because this is really a holistic I approach. I think uh, modern. I think medicine, modern medicine, does stuff. They take stuff. They manipulate stuff. We don't manipulate anything. Okay. We just, we just serve you with with the high frequency energy, and we help you return to your own natural state so you can, your own body can process. Okay. And, and it really is effective. <laughs> and so you've good. done it yourself, right? This is how you kind of got started in it. Yeah. Yeah. I was stressed out. I never knew what peace was. I never mm. knew growing up. You know, I was just, just grew up in a tense environment. And then, you know, I repeated the pattern and married into a tense environment. I was a participant. I'm not saying that. I'm <laughs> <laughs> not trying to play big responsibility. Here, but, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And, but once I realized that and I realized my role in the situation, now the whole family situation has healed. 
Uh -huh. So, I mean, and it was not pretty. Hmm. But it, you know, so I was able to take that intense situation using the energy therapy and turn it into a wonderful, loving family mm -hmm. and supportive. I have oh, four sons. Wonderful. It, it got intense for a while. I had two of them that, that got addicted to heroin. Mm. And so, I mean, and there were suicide attempts at heroin and, you know, it, uh, drugs and anger and, you know, it was, it was a train wreck. It really mm. was a train wreck. And now they're supportive and loving and, you know, sure they still have their issues, but not like, not like that. Okay. And so it was the energy her therapy that was able to, wow. to help everybody. You know, I do holistic restoration for the mind, body, and spirit, and you need all three mm -hmm. to, to become complete. The energy well, therapy is nice and it helps you relax, but you got to have a healthy body. Mm -hmm. So we have supplements that we do, and then the for the the mind, we teach. So like as I'm telling you, explaining things to you, then people are like, "Oh, that makes sense," mm -hmm. and then they're released from the fear and the bondage of yeah. it. They're like, "Oh, I understand now. I see now." And so they were able to to uh, process that, and they're not they're not held captive by it anymore, which is stress relieving in itself. What are you feeling from her now? How'd you know I was feeling? <laughs> I, I, um, I'm feeling something around your ankle here. So ankles are about <laughs> having fun. <laughs> <laughs> having fun. So this is, though, about feeling fun. Okay. okay. So there's, there's might be a fear, because I'm feeling it on the inside of your ankle, and there's a... So I took Chinese medicine too, and I studied the meridians, and they all have an emotion associated uh -huh, sure. with them. And so this kidney over here is um, is lighting up right now. I can really feel it. There, there's some fear. There's some fear of, of uh, letting go. I'm gonna guess. Hmm. Interesting. You tell all your secrets now. I know, right? Yeah. I feel like I'm in therapy session yeah. right now. <laughs> <laughs> it is a therapy. And how long are the sessions? How long do they usually last? It it just depends on what you're looking for. I mean, you might come in. You know, after you're tuned up and you, you've done this for a while, it's like, I just need my 15 minutes and I'm out. You know? okay. 15 minutes feels like a good night's sleep. 30 minutes feels like a long weekend. Okay. An hour feels like a week's vacation. Okay. It's, well, yeah, I could use intense. one of those, huh? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so the ideal is to go on, come have a session before you go on your vacation, and then you get two for one. <laughs> no, I usually need one when I get back from vacation. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that too. From vacation. That and, too. So and I actually great. came, when I came last week for this, I was here for about an hour. I'm really chatty, so that was like doubled, but the session was an hour. <laughs> and then that night, I actually slept for eight hours uninterrupted for the first time, and I can remember, I swear, right. since I was younger. I, the only way I could describe it was, I woke up feeling like when you're a child when you wake up. That like, I felt like refreshed. a child. Yeah, it was like refreshed, but also not thinking about anything, or not mm, thinking about yeah. stress, or I just woke up feeling like a child, kind of like empty-minded. <laughs> Yeah, then after we do the, the reading, then we, then we go through the body and we just, we just place mm -hmm. our hands. And depending on how long the session is, because okay. we can do 15, 30, 60, up to two hours, really. And I know we were kind of talking about, too, you know, there wasn't a lot of Reiki masters in this area in, in Michiana until recently. That's, it's been just a, you know, a few years Well, now. they've been here. But it, it used to it's be becoming much more prominent. I feel like yeah. I've been hearing it a lot more. Yeah, people are talking about it now because yeah. they're not as afraid of it. They were afraid of it. They didn't mm. understand it, and they were afraid mm -hmm. of it. And that's that's been my my focus is to make it uh, bring it more mainstream. Connect the mainstream to it. That's mm -hmm. why I, I call it energy therapy therapy because I speak English, and and it's mm -hmm. you know <laughs> we don't need to speak a different language. We don't need to say chakras. We can say energy centers because that's what they are. Thank you so much for doing this. It was great to kind of get to experience it and show people what it actually yeah. looks like and for everyone to look up my nose the entire time during this. I'm video. just glad I didn't have to lie down on camera. This ain't pretty standing up, so yeah. <laughs> You know, Courtney has actually been uh, a lot more relaxed since we tried Reiki. You never know what you're going to see or experience on Experience Michiana. Don't forget to use the hashtag Experience Michiana if there is something that you think that we should go and try. And don't forget that this year I'm trying to get in shape. Kelly's trying to get me to work out. So if there's something fun that we should be doing around our community, then make sure and use the hashtag Experience Michiana. Until the next time, thank you so much for watching.
This WNIT local production has been made possible in part by viewers like you. Thank you.